Okay. So David, I think I want to say a couple of things here because I do I, this this worker pontification did bother me over the weekend, where actually people are just using the idea of workers. Suddenly, Silicon Valley tech startups with uncapped upside, the business plans of multi-trillion-dollar companies are now reclassified as small businesses with workers. Let's talk about that for a second, okay? Most of these are venture-backed tech companies banking with Silicon Valley Bank, okay? Now, they have uncapped equity upside that taxpayers that indirectly bear the cost of this, and they do, did not enjoy. And here's the other thing, okay? You and I know this well, so let's not play this game where, you know what? The investors in these businesses, it would be a, it would be a very painful thing to do. But if you made a mistake as the management team, the business model of every one of those tech companies is the same today as it was last week and as it was last month. So if those business models are really viable, there's capital that those investors, frankly, people like you, can be putting into those same portfolio companies. But that is a difficult thing to do. It is painful. I know it is painful. It involves dilution. It involves added capital off a of venture firm's balance sheet. The founders are going to make less money when their stock goes up. And that's part of the consequence and part of the bargain of capitalism is when you make a bad risk management decision by putting way too much money in one bank. Even if your business model continues to hold, you personally are going to make less money because you had to actually raise capital to make up for the hole that you created on your balance sheet. That's how capitalism works. Now, I think this okay. quantification of the worker to say that this is about, now it's not tech startups, let's call them small businesses, and then it's really about the workers is really actually a myth to actually protect people just from equity dilution. And here's okay. the other thing on that point. Many people, and you know this well too, who did business with Silicon Valley Bank had special arrangements with Silicon Valley Bank. Now, you and I share in common the fact that venture debt is usually a bad idea for a startup. But nonetheless, Silicon Valley Bank did provide venture debt to a lot of these startups, which allows those founders and CEOs to own greater ownership percentage in their firms. The taxpayers- right, they got, I, 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 we got it. You, They got an advantage. I'm up against a break.